welcome back to another vlog. It won't just be dodgeball, though. <laughs> we had a double header, which means we had two games consecutively. Something our team did really well for both games is not just teamwork, but strategy. <laughs> I'm probably not going to detail what the strategy is. <laughs> I think we did such an amazing job at playing both games and you'll get to see that. It was also really nice having Captain James back because I want to nickname him the Sniper. I think he makes very precise, well-timed throws which eliminate the opponents quite swiftly. <laughs> Every time I watch our dodgeball footage, I always think how incredible it is at how something as simple as dodgeball can bring everyone so much joy. It's really awesome to see how happy everybody is during the play, after the play, even talking about it and the anticipation of playing throughout the week. We all go through so much in life, like stress, anxiety, heartbreak, you name it. Life can get so heavy and I think it's so easy to also forget how important it is to just take a break. By the way, if you are watching my vlog, you have agreed to listen to my rants and my talks about mental health and anything else that I talk about in my voiceovers so my advice that you definitely didn't ask for but you're going to listen to anyway is to move because movement creates momentum which results in progress and though healing is never linear I think progress is quite important to eventually get to where you want to be when I watch Alex do some of his dodges, I kind of want to name him the Mirage because it's kind of like, now you see it, now you don't. Back to what I was saying with the mental health thing, I just love seeing how happy everyone is when they get to come back in play. Like, look at Rafe, <laughs> look how excited he is. When James caught that ball, that was epic. Maybe you have also recognized that we're only two minutes into the vlog and we've already hit half time. That's just because I have cut out quite a lot from the first half. The sniper. I had to leave that part in even though I was off screen because I was talking to Rafe the other day about taking more risks during dodgeball. I think sometimes I play it too safe. And one of the risks was to try to catch more. And yeah, I was very pleased with that. Upon re-watching all the footage from dodgeball, you slowly start to see everybody's tells or certain things that we all do differently. <laughs> like an example would be when Alex throws really hard. He does that leg sweep. Additionally, something I think Phil does amazingly, and I would love to nickname him <laughs> the catcher, because he's always ready. If you watch him intently, his hands are always out, ready to catch. He does really well. Looking at this footage where I recognize that I'm quite exhausted, I think I might annoy some of you by relating what I'm about to say back to mental health as well, but dodgeball is actually a great way to test and build stamina because it's not just how fast you can run or how quick your reflexes are with dodging, but evidently it's also about how long you can keep going and stay focused and push through the fatigue, which clearly... <laughs> You can see I'm experiencing here. <laughs> I think stamina isn't just about physical strength. It can also be about mental persistence. So keep pushing because you'll find yourself much stronger, more resilient than you ever thought possible. And you know what I have to say about that? That's hot. <laughs> I 
admire my whole team because of their incredible sportsmanship. Like, yeah, we want to win, but at the end of the day, it's also about supporting each other and having a good time. And all these high fives and the cheers and all the encouragement, I think it just shows how amazing we all are at sportsmanship. And I think that's what essentially it's all about. And again, it's a reminder that the real victory comes from lifting each other up and supporting one another. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, we had a double header this evening, so here we are about to play against the second team. <laughs> I think this is the second or third time I've said this in my vlog, but I, I'm going to say it again because it's not often that the opposition aims for me first. So I'm excited about it, okay? <laughs> I think you can guess what I'm about to say. Three, two, one, say it with me. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> The next clip will show you exactly what I meant by our strategizing and working together because the synchronicity between James, Alex and I in this clip is seriously epic. <laughs> Sometimes I don't like talking over specific audio clips because of the cheering or the sound effects. Listen to this. That's my elbow slamming against the wall. enjoying watching these clips because of how intense this match is. I think that's also why I haven't really been saying much in comparison to game one. It's intense in the best way. This was actually such a great match. <laughs> Similar to last week's match when somebody aimed for me but I managed to dodge and then one of my teammates aimed for them and got them out. Alex did that <laughs> in this clip. Whether intentional or not, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than a little friendly competition that gets my adrenaline going. <laughs> Watching this makes me actually want to 
put my runners on because the thrill of trying to like outsmart someone, dodge a ball, to rush and run and beat the opposition <laughs> to sprint for the ball, that's what makes it fun. The pushing each other to do our best while just having so much fun. I must sound like I'm obsessed with dodgeball, but that's okay because I think I am. <laughs> my risk taking has picked up with intensity and i'm not complaining i think this match because it was so intense it really pushed me personally and i think the team actually as well because everyone played incredibly to move faster think quicker play harder essentially um, unfiltered competition friendly competition <laughs> at some points it was so relieving to be caught out <laughs> even though I don't like losing it was extremely comforting in these moments when I <laughs> felt extreme exhaustion <laughs> Okay, a few things in this clip. Firstly, what the hell is this camera angle, Alex? <laughs> Secondly, I launched over that guy's leg because he put his leg out when he went to grab the ball. And I got flashbacks of when I went mountain biking and I flipped my bike. <laughs> kind of wish I was on camera because I reckon it would have been really fun <laughs> funny <laughs> to see. But yeah, it's fine. I always laugh through the pain, so it's all good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> cheering that you hear in the background is from Cassandra and Catherine. They are, apart from Laura, the cutest women who play dodgeball. <laughs> I think about dodgeball which apparently is like all the time <laughs> I think one of the coolest things about playing dodgeball is kind of see the way the people around you think which I think is really cool to think about there was a lot of thinking in that last sentence <laughs> Yeah. 
that's what I mean by leaving in some of the audio because I think sometimes when you hear the opposition really feel who they find is a threat. <laughs> Moments like these really shows how quick thinking and agility are quite key when playing dodgeball. You have to think really fast and also stay aware of your surroundings. When I've been racing for the ball, I've had to leap to avoid crashing into someone. Not only do you have to kind of make split second decisions and keep your cool, but I think these instinctive moves can make a massive difference in not colliding with someone, hopefully. <laughs> Even though I did that in literally the next clip and it actually really hurt my shoulder. <laughs> Also, sorry team, my re my reaction to turn around, I was so exhausted by this stage, couldn't wait for this to be done, and I was just feeling a lot of relief. <laughs> At this exact moment, I remembered I had made cupcakes and cookies as a surprise for both Alex and James because it was just their birthday. And I had left them where we play dodgeball, which is about three or four blocks away. So after this video, I made a run for it. And the highlight of my run was a random man yelling, you got this, at me. Happy birthday, guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this oh. Hey. Oh. 
dinner. Also made really good cookies and cupcake. I got a cupcake here actually. I can show the camera. Oh no. Um, this is the cupcake she made. I'm taking it home for tomorrow's no. coffee. I've already had like two. So. Girl can cook. Wife this chick. True. Yes. Come on. I know. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> Guys, we have the amazing uh, tooth bakery, pork and fennel sausage roll, you need it in your life, but we just got our coffees for free. Why? Oh, I said good morning <laughs> to the barista, and I think I complimented his shirt, and he just said, you've made my morning, two free coffees. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Mamma mia. Not only did uh, the morning start off with just debriefing about how incredible our dodgeball team and our game was the previous night, something that myself and Jeanette have been talking about for some time now is going to a cafe and grabbing a coffee, bringing our Bibles, having a good chat and enjoying the morning. And on Friday, we got to do that. Jeanette picked me up at 7 a.m. But where do you start? Actually, like kind of joked, but it worked. That would ask ChatGBT, like, hey, what should we read today? And it led us to Hebrews 11. 11. What I loved about it as well is that it was so nice to actually talk about each verse as we went through it and read it together. Bible study complete and then we started working on um, the vlog. I did, did a meeting. Just a lovely morning and it will be something that I want to continue to do moving forward. After Laura and I both got our motorcycle licenses, I was pretty keen to keep learning how to ride and Alex was very kind enough to offer his bike so I could practice. To ride a motorcycle has been a really exciting experience for me. For me, it's the adrenaline <laughs> and combination of nerves that can feel intimidating but is more so exciting. <laughs> Initially, I thought that I had completely forgotten everything I learned, but it did slowly come back to me. Yeah, I'm very grateful for Alex for letting me practice on his bike. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anything that you're not familiar with can definitely be pretty uncomfortable at first and there's always that initial fear of messing up and I think I heavily relate to that because I'm someone who can be very hard on myself but I think the uncertainty of not knowing exactly what you're doing and maybe the frustration when things don't go so smoothly is exactly where the real growth happens. These challenging moments you will always gain more confidence, not only improve your skills, also realise what you're capable of. <laughs> Can I record you? Yeah. All right, when you're ready. Changing gears, look at her go. Told her she'd pick it up like that. Quick again. She remembers everything. She says it's more fun going fast, I agree. She's got it, look at it go. What a bolts. Go again. It's a nice bike. I talked myself up on that one. Shortly after this, something happened to the clutch on the bike and I immediately called Alex to go home, get some tools, come back and we fixed it together. I was so grateful that it wasn't such a massive issue and that we could fix it. And it was also really cool to learn something new about fixing a motorcycle. It seems so much easier than a car. Yeah, <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Laura, like Sean, well Alex and James, oh, they came with us yeah, to Cars and Coffee. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. yeah. So that would have been the other... Um, I said, this little champ doesn't know how good he gets it. Like, okay. He is in the most expensive dog bed I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> What a cutie. I'm in heaven. Cars, coffee, and canines. That, uh, yes. oh. <laughs> That's in Chrome. Is it? Yes. Oh. Thank you. Copyright Jeanette Borski. <laughs> Laura's really funny naturally. So. Just film her. <laughs>
what better way to end the week than coffees and cars at the Eastern Classic. And this event is so special to me, not only because it attracts some incredible cars, but it was one of these events that I got to meet Jeanette. And that has just made my whole year. It's made my life. It's made everything. They was even cooler because some of our dodgeball team members wanted to come along. We met at 7am in the morning. I actually bumped into James first. He had just supersonically ran from his house. If you're worried about not taking good footage, this is what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Well, I thought if, you, if I wanted good footage, I would do this. Oh. <laughs> it's going in there, baby. <laughs> I'm going to go around and make that joke again. Yeah. Jeanette told me to get good footage. <laughs> to see some of our dodgeball players come along to Cars and Coffees this morning and have so much fun was such an encouragement because this event is something that means so much to me and Jeanette. To the dodgeball team that are listening and watching right now, thank you. Thank you for being so original. Be yourselves. You make it such a comfortable and awesome place, whether it's at dodgeball or on the weekends or on our social hangs. Make sure you get that for Tim. Get that for Tim. Yeah. That's for you, Tim. <laughs> have like you could go to the drive-in so fun. Like oh my god. Get out a mattress in the back Can here. we do that? Can we do the drive-in? Yes. We should. Yes, let's do it. Get like a U. No, our car. Yeah. Oh, our cars as well. Oh, of course not. But it's like. <laughs> This is James Look at this legend. in the car. Man on <laughs> Look at, <laughs> Look at. Fit like a glove. Fit like a glove? Yeah. Perfect. It's suit, it does suit you. If you took the roof off, I might be able to see out <laughs> What can you see? Yeah, um, nah. Nothing. <laughs> Your perspective. Just, like, just the visor. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at that stance. What a hottie. You know what I say to that? That's hot. <laughs> hey guys. She good. This is coming back. This is coming back. Uh, you don't understand yesterday. Yeah. I was doing it all day. And I I just was like Damn dodgeball team. Come and do a nip. And like people were like and I'm like, I'm sorry, I just can't not now. Okay. It's a language. It's, it's the dodgeball language. Uh, that is how you do it. Exactly. It's the Mario. You know? They have a New York cookie, but I kid you not, Jeanette. Cookies are better. Oh! Glad I was recording. Just saying. That. Just saying. <laughs> and that's 650. No, you can sell yours for 6050. You know? 6050. It's that good. It was that good. Yeah. It looks so cute, man. Like you after Laura and I caught up for coffee after Cars and Coffee, we decided to go for a cruise. It does sound strange saying cemetery, but it was actually very beautiful to drive through there and park there. Sometimes I think about all the minor decisions I've made in my life that have made such a massive impact. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm just feeling so much gratitude for having Laura in my life and for meeting her at one of those classic car events. I know a lot of the things that I've experienced in life most recently would not have progressed or even happened in the first place if I had never met her. Laura asked if I wanted to go to a cemetery. Here we are. <laughs> like a boss. Look what yes. happened, guys. The oil splattered from, we think, Etienne's car. It's bloody E-time. <laughs> gonna kill him. <laughs> Boo! Boo! Look at her in Nah, the now. she's beautiful. I need to do a scrub at more. Just like her owner. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's going in the vlog. No. <laughs> it's done now. <laughs> yeah, I felt that I needed to check my brake fluid and I didn't. So I'm really nervous. That's why I parked here. Because I've been putting my foot on the pedal to brake. And it hasn't really been um, braking. Yeah, we need to properly. check that brake fluid. So, this is... What the heck? Oh, it's poo. It's all good. It's just poo. So this, my friends, is how to change and check your brake fluid. Tutorial 101. And let me tell you, for anyone out there, you can do this in pants, overalls, skirts, anything. Okay? How is she looking? She's okay. Okay. There's enough in there. There's enough in the brake fluid. I'm just so nervous because when I put my foot on the brake, it was like 10 times 
harder, harder to actually stop. Maybe you need new brake pedals. Like, is the brake pedals been wearing off? Probably. But while we're here, let's just have a quick look at that engine. Um, she's shiny, she's chromey. Just don't touch that. That's hot. That's, <laughs> that's literally hot. Just saying. <laughs> It's already really hard. Um, but even like, look at the intricacy of those horns. Like, damn, these engines. These are my favorite. The blueies? <laughs> the blueies. Yeah, it's like, look, look how, look just how massive is that? That's bigger than Ben Hur. Like, it's huge. <laughs> Done so well. Yeah, yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah. And the other thing that I really like, it's got a touch of gold in there that matches oh, your yeah. rings my and rings jewelry and accessory. Bosky. That's it. Wait, what's Vosky? Vosky means gold in Armenian. Um, did you know that? Did they know that? I don't know. Do you know that? I think now they do. Jeanette Gold. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. When I think about change being the only constant in life, the fact that no matter how insignificant something seems, there's a massive impact of a single choice that you have to make. It's a reminder that every action you make matters. Even the smallest shift in a direction can lead to the most incredible outcomes. Just never underestimate the power of your choices because why shouldn't we be making decisions, no matter how small they are, that will make a more positive impact on not just our lives, but people's lives around us. I have not responded. What the heck is my ranch out here? <laughs> Look at my this. Did had, you see this? <laughs> my housemate had a party last night. And I didn't see this in the dark. Oh my gosh, it's not even any leftovers. Yeah. We can, uh... <laughs> Hi, beautiful. This is a message to Jeanette, quickly, I've stolen the camera, and I wanted to just let you know that if you find this video, you are amazing, you are wonderful, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, and God has incredible plans for you, and just wait and see. I'll be celebrating all those incredible plans with you. I'm excited for you and for your future. Goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.